And welcome back to this 15th anniversary lo uh, long run of Toonbad. So last time we have bagged yet another pig and um, made some progress with uh, with our tasks here. And if we look at our event list over on the side there, you will see that we have received 92 of the 130 tasks and cleared 80 of them. We're over halfway there. Um, so... I believe, if I read things correctly, and I should have just gone straight to the item screen, but whatever. Mm, excuse me. Let's go to the watchtower. There should be a spot nearby here where there are two pump rocks. I don't think that's it. I didn't want to go there. The, the the puzzle right now is what is this? Um, let's get out the stone boomerang. And get assaulted by a spider, as you do. Jeez. Ah, no. Well, that was interesting what just happened there. Just the combination of everything. But thank you for the... The, the um... The five gift subs, Grim, that went to Classified Fox, Radium Corium, Steffe, Valeria TV, and Mech. Let me just turn off the jewel fire. And make sure that we have the stone boomerang, but we do. I'm trying to figure out exactly what this guide wants me to do. Specifically, need the blackjack for this. And it's not there. Yeah. From what I understand, there's somewhere on the screen that there are two pump rocks next to each other. Maybe it's down here? Yeah. 
By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this during a Tomba stream yet, but uh, they did finally announce a date for the remake of this game, or the special edition, or whatever they want to call it, August 1st. I would have really liked if they had, you know, released it, or at least announced it, before I started playing this version, but, uh... Well, what are you gonna do? Okay, I'm not really understanding what the what this guy wants me to do. Oh, we need to complete the Weenie Power Event. But we need to clear the Weenie Power Event by clearing break the rusty door. Okay, so more running around. Let's go to the Y crossing. Because there is an event that we don't have that we're going to need. I need to figure out who's going to give this event. Okay, no wait. So we need to go into the okay go into the iron castle by pressing up then talk to the man get the break the rusty door i pray is done uh and grim gets yet another hype train emote unless you've gotten all of the level two ones already which i wouldn't be surprised if you did um let's see the one on the left has large gem, the one on the right has tons of fruit. The Lumber Jack Factory on to the left. To the left. To the left. To the left. The one of you guys. Possibly. Huh? Oh, the Iron Castle door? That door is so old it probably won't open until you blow it up with a bomb or something. I need a bomb. That's probably how they opened up that door there. Want me to make a bomb? <laughs> a gobble will fill you. I was just joking. I guess no one has gone to such lengths to try open the door. When you think of it, I do have a bomb. I made it a long time ago, but it's dangerous and I didn't have any use for it. But I hid in the jungle in the highest tree. Looks like a coconut, but it's actually a really powerful bomb. Even that iron door wouldn't be able to hold up against this bomb. Be real careful, though. I see. We didn't need a key. We needed violence. I mean, the problem is the door is rusted shut. So, like... We need either a ludicrous amount of rust remover or a bomb. Anyway, as it turns out, the bomb is right over here. But we can only get it once we get that event. Okay, climb over what? Climb over the door? I can't do that.
No, the bomb is just coconut shaped. The wall, the door, your field. Don't climb over my feelings. Gosh darn it. Use this bomb. That was a very cartoon bomb sound effect. Hey, there we go. And just straight into the door. It's all happening automatically anyway. You perfectly only destroyed the door and nothing else. Don't worry. About it. Oh, there we go. So that moved finally. We need power, we got power. More power! Oh, yeah! Well, I sure do owe you a favor. Say, I hear you're traveling in search of the evil pigs. Wait right here, okay? I've heard that a 10,000 year old man who lives near the large pool at the top of the waterfall knows all about the evil pigs. Why don't you pay him a visit? We need to go through the village of all beginnings to get to the top of the waterfall. The detour is a pain in the neck, but good luck. The 10,000 year old man has been started. The door to the old pond is locked. Here, take this. It's the key to the door at the old pond. Okay, so now we can open that door. Ride the rat from the hill with the old tree to return to the haunted mansion. The rat from the hill with the old tree. Ride the raft. I guess we don't have a choice. I was just going to uh, fly Baron over there, but uh, can I talk to you. There we go. Grim used climb. Feelings can't be climbed. Screen by screen, leaving this place. Oh, hi. Listen, I just came back from the village of all beginnings. Why was there a Sar, the witch? Her name is Mizno, and, well, she's really cute. Oh, I wish I could see her again. The cute witch. And you're just saying exactly the same thing. So let's go ahead and ride the raft. For a swim. Get up the ladder. Jumbo, please. I guess there's a raft around here. Not seeing a raft.
Oh, we have to get the raft from the lumber factory. I see. So the problem is, we left without it. I guess I could have just used Baron right there to uh, get back to the old tree. Ah, and you see, there's a little platform here, and this is where we use the raft. You're riding a raft. Whee, look at us go. Oh, and that takes us back here. Interesting. Back to this less, uh, less haunted mansion. So now let us go to... Yeah, that, that event was not required, I don't think. Especially since it is completely skippable. Let's go to the old pond. Yes, we have the key to this door now. Ding, ding, ding. Yep, the underwater pit bag, I see. We still can't go underwater. Now that looks spiky. We probably don't want to touch it. Seashell necklace. Mermaid's necklace. Now what's over here? I see. What's over here is backward. So yeah, let's, uh, Trick Village. That's probably where we just were. Turn someone's house without permission. The 10,000 year old man? How dare you address me so casually? That's Mr. 10,000 year old man to you, young man. 
mean, we'll consider that, yes, complete. The story of the old pigs, eh? I see, so you must be the one that hundred-year-old man and the thousand-year-old man were talking about. Hmm. Now, how does this sound? As you can see, the trip village has sunken underwater. There are ten math bees with numbers on them hidden in the water. You can find all the bees and bring them back to me. I'll tell you everything you want to know. Well, we gotta do math now? However, you can't collect the bees just by swimming through the water. You have to be able to dive underwater. Oh, don't give me that look. Alright, fine, I'll give you one hint. Just a while ago, the mermaid came by to see me. She said that she found an important item that she had lost in the waterfall, but she can't get to it on her own. Poor child looks so depressed. If you help her by getting the item for her, then just maybe, maybe she'll teach you how to dive. The mermaid should be resting at the haunted mansion right now. The haunted mansion? Why don't you go there? of us so let's just go straight into it. Where is the mermaid? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, probably not there. Uh, for good measure. Yeah. Yeah. Where's this go? Away from the water, that's for sure. Oh, right, this goes back to the mushroom forest, doesn't it? Yeah, all right. Gotcha, gotcha. Please, you can call me old man. Mr. 10,000 year old man was my father. Now, I would imagine that his father would be someone even older than that. Okay, yeah, but I was not sure what I was expecting there. Go into somewhere else. Yeah. 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 I guess this was not the correct path. Unless it's like in one of these doors at the bottom. Oh, what is this? A Vitality Max! There you are! Here, this is for helping us. Oh, what's in here? Okay, this is not what I was expecting to see. But okay, let's uh, let's do some exploring, I guess. What's under the forest? Well, now we know. Not that we had ever asked the question. A piece of cheese for good measure. I've heard that the that a fortune teller is in the underground maze too. No, madam, but I'm sure you'll need some ridiculous amount of AP points. The blue fortune teller. Next, what's above the forest? Nothing but blue sky! Ah. I, I swear I can make a high, uh, a high note like that, but not this quietly. Dig, dig, dig. <laughs> Digging, digging is my life, but this wall is pretty difficult. Hold on, I promise you I'll open a uh, way 
uh, to get through for you. Dig like a mole, diggy diggy mole, diggy diggy mole. Here we, here we go digging. Needle gator teeth. I don't know what that is. Hey, 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 step back. You can get hurt. I can? Oh, boy. That's what I've always wanted. Huh? A lot of pleasant supplies. Surprise. Supplies? Please. I hardly get any visitors anymore. Did you see the door that won't open? I did. The thief's door, you say? The door was built a long time ago by thieves who were trying to, to hide their stolen treasures. I don't think an ordinary key is going to open that door. You probably need some tool or something that thieves use. Come to think of it, I, a while ago a friend of mine said he lost a very special wire at Trick Village. Out of this door. I've heard the Mary talk to you. Why, I oughta. What's in here? Well, we've discovered what this is. Okay, so now we need to go back to the Haunted Mansion. Also, we're now at uh, 103 events, uh, collected and 87 cleared. We're over 100 collected now. This this song has like just a hint of like lemmings flavor to it. Okay, I can't really explain it any better than that. Okay. You look up where this mermaid is. guy does not be helpful. Let's uh... So we need to be at the south side of the dungeon. Let's take a look at this. Very rare and valuable needle gator teeth. Good. So let's make sure that we're on the south side of the dungeon. The dungeon? The mansion. The mansion dungeon. And I think this is the door. Sure is. What am I going to do? 
How am I supposed to get my necklace from that waterfall? Well, as it turns out... Mm, is this the necklace? What's this? Why, it's my necklace! Did you go get this for me? Thank you so much! The mermaid necklace! Da -da 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 -da. You want to learn how to dive? Well, you've come to the right person, then. I have something I need under the water here. If you can go get it, you've mastered the art of diving. But what's underwater? Well, let's start by getting you in the water. There you go. Now see how you float automatically? It's not that hard to learn how to dive. Now try pressing the down directional button. Press the down directional button to submerge your head. That's good. Now, to move forward in the direction that you want, press the directional button and the special button at the same time. Great! Now, just like that, can you get the item that I need from underwater? This is happening automatically. You got the hang of it. And what's underwater is fish food, apparently. Well, do you think you can handle diving now? Since you got this for me, I'll give you some mighty fish food. I don't know mu much about it either, but I've heard that the mighty fish will appear when you put this food in the water. Mighty fish food. So yeah, swimming is very, uh, very simple. But that opens up a couple of, uh, of places for us here. Um, namely... I'm not sure if we can dive under the old pond, but let's try. Let's go back to a couple of places that we, uh, that we had some water. And then we'll go back to Trick Village. Oh, look at that! It's a friendly turtle. And, oh yeah, it's the frog from earlier in the game! Hmm. Can we use a mighty fish food here? Oh yeah! Oh, that maxes out our fire experience. Oh, we still have it too, so we can theoretically use it at more places and max out other experiences. But we've already done that uh, the hard way, so we won't have to worry about that. Oh, can't use this here because I'm in the water. Get out of the water first. Um, let's go back to Wobbly Wharf. Well, who does really? I mean, Toma didn't learn to swim until just recently. Where the barrel rolls, clear. Nothing over here. Can we use the mighty fish for here? No. Here. 
interact with this barrel anymore? Doesn't look like it. We can probably go in this pipe, though. Oh, that poops us back here. Not a fan of these one-way paths, let me tell you. Um, uh, da -da -da. Right, so let's go back to Trick Village. Because I'm afraid we're going to have to do math. Donna. That's your deal. I'm trying to go. Yeah, what's. Okay, you hurt me. And I can hurt you. Ah, rude. There's a one. Please. Charity wing that we no longer need. I guess we have to access that from the other side. Oh no! Man, getting all kinds of comeuppance here. Not a fan of this. Like, the, the problem is, there is little to no reaction time. I would have to press uh, cross at the very moment that I notice that there is one coming. And open that. Blue Hidden Powers. Alright, so we got all three of the gems then. Didn't I didn't even notice that's what I collected there. Ah. That's ah. charity wings. Alright. How many math bees do we have so far? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight. We have eight. So we're missing two and we're missing ten. Uh, 
Eh. Jerk. There we go. We got two, and I remember seeing ten. Remember where it is. My friend, if you have to ask that question, you have not been watching Let's Play of the World for very long. That ain't it. God dang it, Bobby. That fish ain't right. Well, like, at the very least, uh, there's only one left, so if I see it, I'll be able to track it a little better. I am surprised I caught that fish. There it is. Right, and I don't have the 10,000 year old bell, so I can't just escape from here. Can escape through here. Let's see where where this leads. Oh, you have got to be kidding me! Why do you have two paths that lead back to here? Well, at the very least, that brings us back to dry land, and I'm able to uh, travel to the ten thousand year man set from here. The Ten Math Beads. Ah, indeed, these are the math beads I asked for, thank you. If there's no hard feelings, son, I just had to test your strength and see it for myself. Those evil pigs are fearsome, you know. Anyway, thanks to you, I've done my duty. What was my duty? Wait for you to learn how to dive and get the evil pig bag from the Trick Village. <laughs> Which reminds me, we need to get the evil pig bag. I guess I'll give you my 10,000 year old key as well. Then thou the thousand year old man said I have to give it up to, to give it up to you, the old fart. Why are you calling him an old fart? You are ten times his age. Now, there's just one th one more thing left. The story of the evil pigs. I think it would be better to ask the million year old man about them. I'm sorry, what? We're just skipping an entire uh, magnitude here? He is the eldest of the elders. He may be able to tell you where the evil pigs derive their powers from. The key to the underground maze is... Oh yes, here it is. Beef's wire. Source of evil magic. Million year old man lives in the underground maze underneath the watchtower. Be careful. Also, like... You have to know to talk to people multiple times or else you're not going to receive that. Also, he doesn't heal you. Which, you know, is great. The old arrest man. Oh, wait, no. I am at full health. Okay. Something along the line ended up healing me. Now the only thing is there was not a 10,000 year chest in the 10,000 year old man's uh, house, so 
Is this the 10,000 year one? It is, and we get our vitality up. Up to a maximum of 11. So the red chests are the 10,000 year old chests. And now we have to go hunting for those. I think there was one down here. Yeah. There's the yellow evil pig bag. We've gotten the underwater pig bag. And now to release Trick Village. I think there are a couple of more chests around here. Uh, that's locked though, so uh, by process of elimination, that's gotta be the million year old chest. Spawn in this game, man. It's your dick. Holy crap. Another hundred thousand AP just lying there. Yeah, that's spiky. You don't want to touch that. Are there any more chests around here? And the fact is, if there were, like, we can kind of end up doing, like, one last pass for chests once we get the million year old key. Because then we'll be able to open every chest. Now you can stay in there. Can I use a bell to get out of here? I can. Get our health back, and uh, let's go back to the underground maze. Come to- oh, there it is. I was gonna say, come to think of it, it makes sense if we can't get to the underground maze by air. Because it's underground. But no, Baron will find a way. So anyway, we have the thief's wire, which should allow us to open this door. Store. The East Store, there it is. Up to 95. Much box, Coca Claw, and some more cheese. And here's the maze part of it, apparently. Oh, we can also open this chest for some more cheese. We don't need cheese anymore, game. We don't need cheese anymore, game. Cheese and crow. Lunchbox. Biting plant flower. And charity wings. Well, this looks special. I wonder what the deal is with that. Hmm. That's a million year old chest. That's a dead end. I'm wondering if this, uh, this little dip here goes back to the other dip that we saw before. Actually, no. Okay, that leads to that. I see. And what does the other one lead to? Let's talk to some guys. It's already a really weird room. 
Oh, that leads to here. Got it. For s like, is there a second cheese event or something? Did I not talk to the guy again and get another cheese quest? Fortune teller who can be your future. Yeah, so the blue fortune teller. Yeah, it looks like you have enough. Enough what? It's enough AP. Let's have a look. Hmm. Blue is the beachside door. Beachside door. Huh. Orange is the deep jungle. Okay. Yellow is the god of time, the clock tower. And the remaining blue is here, somewhere in this underground maze. Go see the million-year-old wise man first. Your battle has yet to come. Take this from the fortune tellers. Oh, another vitality, Max. Hell yeah. Please watch out for yourself. Yeah, there is a couple of, like, dips here, but, like, I feel like I want to keep exploring a little bit. I still have the wire? Yeah, let's restart things here. Yep. I don't want to quit. So, there we go. That, god dang it, this menu. Uh, apparently I don't have the wire anymore. Single use wire, I guess. I bet you anything, that's where the million-year-old man lives. Cold medicine? Interesting. There's a chest there, but we need to still dig it out. Diggy diggy hole. Oh, and that pops us out here. Got it. Oh, we've opened yet another path. And then there's also over here. What's in here? Well, this looks, um, this looks like something. <laughs> if I'm looking for the man who was old when the earth was young, I will do my best. Thank you for coming by, Darian. And if you have contributed to the uh, community goal, then I thank you for that as well. It doesn't actually tell me when someone does. At least not with the... Uh, uh, chatty doesn't tell me when someone does. I kind of wish it did. Maybe Chatterino would, but like Chatterino is missing some features that I, that I get from chat.
Okay, so... Blue is the beachside door. Orange is the deep jungle. Yellow is the guard of time. Blue is in the underground maze. Go talk to the million year old man. Yeah, but where is the million year old man? So the door opens with a wire. Wow, I can't believe you the I can't believe you found this in the water. Yeah, but the wire broke though. And there's still this door here that I would really like to open. Here I am, a wandering again. Have you met the million year old wise man yet? I have not. Please direct me to him. Or, you know, don't, I guess. I don't know. If I talk to you like a million times. No, okay. Also, that door. It's kind of frustrating though, it's like, there's some obvious paths here that, uh, that we could uh, get into, but just nothing that really pops out. So we have the yellow and blue pig bags. I need to be reminded again of where these are. These doors are. So, blue is the beach side door. Yellow is the clock tower. So the beach side door makes me think it's the door, like the locked door at the base of the mansion. But how do you open that door? Yellow is the clock tower. Which we can get to. So you told us about the witch. The village of all beginnings. Well, I guess I just need to go to the village of all beginnings somewhere. So if we go up to the clock tower, we should have access to a pig door. There it is. Oh, I can't believe you got the machine to work. Thanks to you, the clock tower has come back to life. Hmm? Oh, you can't go in the room with the cog wheels. The giant gears in there is very dangerous. Yeah. Uh, it's also very dangerous where I'm going, so I don't know what you're talking about. Who's there? Whoa! That bag there, that's the yellow evil pig bag. Look, uh, I, I haven't done anything wrong. I'm an innocent. Yes, really. Uh, look, I see you're good at swimming and all, but 
If you stay in the water too long, you'll start turning weird colors like me, see? So I'm sure you want to get out of the water and just go away. No? Uh, fine. I'm warning you, though. I can beat anyone in anything when it comes to water. Okay, so I can get stuck in... There we go. First shot. And with that, we have released Trick Village. It's our 97th clear. I don't know if there's anything new here, but, uh... Ah, you aren't here before. Huh! Up with you! No? Hey, hey! Hey! Oh, I guess it just won't work with normal water. I just need that stuff to make a fuel bar. Food for fuel? Hm? Oh, I didn't realize you were listening. This is called the go-go car. To make it move, I need a fuel bar. Problem is, I can't find the ingredient that's needed to make a fuel bar. All I need is a little bit of wine. A bucket full should be enough to finish the motocross course. A bucket of wine. You know, I don't usually hear of buckets of wine, but I know exactly where I can get them. How about the village that is named after the god of wine himself? As it turns out, we just so happen to have a bucket. Or do I need to use it at the pump there? What's up? Need wine? Alright, as long as it's not for you, I'll let you take as much as you want. But don't you drink it, young man. Oh, so I just talked to the guy and he gives me wine. Got it. Wine, the smell of a great vintage year. Okay, sure. And sure enough, you can't use it. The Like, honestly, this menu is not that hard to use. I'm just bad at using it sometimes. Curses, foiled again. We'll have to wait until we're older to get drunk on a bucket of wine. Yo, bucket. can't use this here. Do I have to talk to him, I guess? Yeah, I have one. 
Or do I need to be specifically like looking in this direction? Okay, there we go. Whoa, this is this is Bacchus's uh, Bacchus Village's famous wine, passed on for 14 generations. No one else makes wine like this anymore. Glug. Lake water? Are you kidding? This is premium wine. Never mind, doesn't matter. I'm not gonna drink it anyway. All right. Let's see. Now this goes here, and that goes there. There, it's done. Food for fuel? More likely than you think. Well, gotta go. I'm gonna test the test drive this baby. Adios, amigo. Yeah. So now we have a fuel bar. Actually, we were in the menu. Also, we still have the wine, interestingly. Let's go back to the village of all beginnings. Maybe we can get a glimpse of this uh, this cute witch while we're uh, on our way to the go-go car area. Or maybe not. Now I don't remember exactly how this works, so I'm gonna put it down in save state right here. I know, Tumbo, you know, we're already cheating anyway. Let's go ahead and use this fuel bar. Man, we're almost to a million AP, which I think is enough for like anything in the game. Hey you! You in the race? First be sure to, to pass the finish line before time runs out. The finish line goes dirt motocross all across courses near Murray's Singing Rock. If you break the pass records I heard the Murray will give you a medal. Mermaid's Singing Rock. There it, there it is. Huh? Oh, you ready? You ready already? Hurry! Time is running? Well, is the time running while you are talking to me, sir? That's not very fair. the best time, but uh, looks like we got pretty close. If we clean that up a little bit, we might be able to get there. How do we do? I got third place. Why, hello there. You're pretty fast. Congratulations, you get the bronze medal. I want a bronze medal. One more thing. Since you're the first one to break a record, I have a special present for you. Take this. And we get a vitality up. Let's see, mermaids sing more. There we go, and uh, that takes us to 100! Well, next time aim for the silver medal. Good luck. I want a silver medal. I want it now. So now we want to go a little faster, but not fast enough to get the gold, apparently. So where does this take us out?
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Why does everything come back to here? I don't know, Zero, but I wouldn't be surprised, actually. Also, I find that this uh, this noise gate that I'm using now on the auto tube is probably not aggressive enough. But I got one that's too aggressive, one that's not aggressive enough, and then the other option is just turn it off, which you know doesn't help anything. Another save state here. We should still have the fuel bar. That should be an item that we just have all the time. I don't know if like if I press like square or something if it goes faster or if the only control that I have is to jump. A very flatulent car, by the way. That might be too slow, actually. I think that was about the time that we had the first time. Like, I, I purposely slowed down at the end there. Yeah, that was too slow. Oh, rather than go around the long way again. Slow. I can get that 20 second, that 27 second mark pretty consistently, but uh, we need to be even faster than that. There we go. That's silver. That was a pretty good, like, close run for gold, too. You've really improved. Not bad at all. 
Congratulations. Here, take this silver medal. Oh, a silver medal. Got it. But you know what? The next race is for the gold. More gold medal. All that gold. All those gold things that I've been collecting. Anyway, we can just use Baron here. They get back to the start. To the menu this time. Let's hover over the fuel bar and save here. It'll save us a little bit of time. But still give me the option to not do the race if I don't want to. Uh, actually, maybe I'll make a second save state at the start of the race. I mean, that was the plan, Zero, until you said something. Yeah, we definitely lose time from hitting those, uh, those pigs. Let's see if this, uh, if this path is any easier. I noticed that there was like another path in the background, so I just held up there, and uh, yeah, that's how you get there. I didn't realize that the paths were converging right where that pig was. And there I just missed that path entirely. We felt some slow down there, and then I hit that pig. I don't think that's going to be the run. That is definitely not the run. In fact, I might not have even made it to the end. I can't decide if the front or the back course is easier. Trying to get ahead by a second or so of the houses part. Gotcha.
Of course, that might, uh, like, the, the, the start of the, uh, of the run might, uh, have, a, have some, that might factor into that, is what I'm trying to say. Aw, oh, man! I managed to not hit any of the pigs there and still lost. That's not it. That's not it. I think that was a better time, though. Right here, I just wanted to find out, like, what are the controls that actually matter? And I do need to press forward, but I don't need to press... Uh, I don't think I need to press square. Ugh. I thought I had the, the stick uh, configured. Yeah, I don't need any of the items. I just need to worry about getting to the end. And that's not gonna be a problem. Oh boy. I forgot how tight this race is. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. And imagine how much easier it will be when the special edition comes out. That is probably going to have pretty much all of the features that... Because uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like the original game emulated. Which means that there's going to be like save states and rewinds. That was the best run. I even hit a pig. could have done it if I hadn't hit an extra pig there. Ah, man! Now nah, this ain't it. This definitely ain't it. Thank you. 
26 seconds flat. the best run so far. I guess the thing is like this is about like split second timing on everything. If I hadn't hit that last pig, then maybe. But you, you gotta figure out exactly where to jump is the thing. one so far, 2518. So I'm trying to think right now, like, what's worse? Doing this or Smash TV runs? Like, in terms of grinding. And I would say this, because this expects you to be, like, exactly precise with your movements Again, fractional loss. 25-10 is my best time yet. And this would be even worse if I wasn't playing this on an emulator. Because you gotta run all the way back to the Village of All Beginnings every single time. And then, you know, make your way back to the go-go car race. Yeah, this this expects you to be perfect. Smash TV does not expect you to be perfect. Like, there is definitely a lot to be said about execution. But like a lot of it is luck as well. So like yeah. Between this and Smash TV, I would rather be running Smash TV. Here I'm not jumping, I'm just letting it bounce. And it bounces right over that thing. And then I didn't jump. Stick a razor shield on that pig and plow through everything. I mean, I wouldn't want to put a razor shield on the pig. I would want to put one on the cart. If I put one on the pig, then I'm just razor shielding myself. Jason, you're just in time to watch me suffer.
Yeah, I hit those logs. That's not gonna do it. Don't jump, just let it bounce. Yeah, I made it to the houses at 16 seconds. I, this is not the one. It's always cool you suffer time when Jason is around. Not always. Hope you're hope you're having a good night, though, for reals. Yep, that ain't it. 25-15. 17 seconds by the third house. Yeah, I was counting like about 15 seconds getting to the houses. This ain't it. Not unless I pull off some magic on the last part here and bouncing on a pig, ain't it? Long day, but it's over and there's gear now. <laughs> Save your mushrooms for the third turn. Wrong game, Jason. Gun? Uh, there is no gun. No. I think if I can bounce on the logs, that might give me an extra bit of time. I just can't drive on the logs. It's also real precise to try to bounce on the logs. This one's pretty good, actually. <sighs> nope. Just finger gun pew pew. Precise is this? Like, holy crap. Like, you gotta know exactly what to do. Miss the jump. Five eleven. Like I was doing, I was doing good on that one, but I missed the water jump. No, this ain't it. So of course I get the water jump. No, Jason, this is not Cat Girl without salad. See, if I can get that particular coin without having to jump for it, I feel like it's a pretty good time. But then I run into that pig. And that pig. Pig car without seat.
No. It's too much slow down there. Definitely. And you control your pitch like uh, like excite bike? No. If you could, then that would be cool. I can only like my my only controls are forward and jump. That was a good run, too. I just died in the water. Let's check that board, shall we? 2496. We got 2491. Give us our gold medal. Congratulations, you've done it. You must be the world's fastest, fastest Tomba motocross champion. I should hope so. My name is friggin' Tomba. I suppose Tomba's development staff, staff must be ashamed of... Okay, now we're getting into meta territory. Stop that. Oops, why am I mumbling? Anyway, from this day, you are the champion. Screw you, fourth wall. Always aim higher. No. So why did we do that? Aside from clearing out some more... Uh some more events. Think about it. Gold medal. Such a, which goes along with such other items as the golden leaf butterfly and the gold flower and the golden bowl, which does not show up in your inventory but does uh, have an effect. So it's one of the gold items that we needed. Ah, and now we have it. Now uh, let's see, what's next? Well, let's go, uh, let's go searching for the cute witch. Now that we've uh, cleared that task, could be playing medieval too. Need to go to the golden needle to give to the tailor in town to to get the cloak so you don't freeze them out. That sounds like King's Quest levels of how do you do? Maybe she's in the back there. I don't know. Then you have to throw the pie at them. Oh, 
Uh, it's fine. Just make friends with the ants and they'll at least help with some of that. Okay, I am not seeing a cute witch here so far. I think there's a chest in the trees that we can get now, though. There's a chest down here too with a lunch box. Ow. Okay. Yeah. There was like a chest in a tree somewhere. Maybe not. Ow! Rude. There's still no one in there. So that goes down to the underground cave. That goes up to getting eaten by a flower. Launch box 64. Oh, we can open this. That was a 10,000 year old bell. Not that we especially need it, but we have it now. Anyway, I didn't see the cute witch anywhere in that village of all beginnings, so I guess now that we've released. Trick Village. We can uh, take a look around here and see if there's anything neat and cool that we can get to now. I don't think this is intended. <laughs> I'd like to file a bug report. Ah, oh, I can't climb this wall either. Can't climb this wall. Eee. Perpetual motion machine, let's go! Out of the water tumble. Okay, but really though, how do I get out? All right. Well, I can also use the ten thousand year old bell to just get to the ten thousand year old man's hut. Maybe he has something new to say. Uh, no, he does not. He did, however, restore my health. You know, I would go so far as to say that uh, this area is actually more annoying to navigate when the water is gone. It just does not want me to get anywhere. Does this go anywhere new now that uh, the water's gone? No, it certainly does not. Huh. 
but I can get back into it. Hashtag 1967? I don't think this game came out in 1967, Jason. Use the panic button, I guess. don't get that guy any more fish. And yeah, that also just boots us out here. And I'm just thinking of like... Let's take a look at our remaining events here. Oh, the jungle pig bag. You know what? We might be able to get this now. I don't know if it's uh, inside a 10,000 year old chest, but it's worth checking. And we're in the correct zone for it. in the background. That's fine. Uh, here is where I might want to use these jiggle physics. Why does it need jiggle physics? What part of my cat do would jiggle? In fact, don't answer that. I probably don't want to know your answer for that. Um, get the jewel fire. Can deal with these guys, but not with these guys. Ugh. Nope. Okay. Yeah, everything here hurts like hell. Especially getting eaten by one of those flowers. Okay, we're back here at the beginning. Doesn't look like there's any chests in the foreground. So then the next step is to check in the background. I could have sworn that there was a chest somewhere. I just don't remember where it is. Then yeah, nope. Mm. Yeah. Was the chest on the on the all tree hill? Just pour it over there and uh, see if it is. Like I am certain that. There was a chest here that we haven't opened. That's a million year old chest, can't open that yet. There we go. There it is! That's the jungle pig bag, so now we can try to, uh, to face the deep jungle pig. Uh, so let us go back. The underground maze. <laughs> Pigs have a navy. Oh no. Ah. 
Well, let's go talk to the blue is the beach side door. Orange is the deep jungle. Yellow is the guard time. The, re the remaining blue is here somewhere in this underground maze. Somewhere in this underground maze. And that just boots me up to uh, the village of all beginnings, right? Yes. There's only one other... There's only one other side-scrolling area that I can think of. And that is... The Strange Room. And I couldn't see it being here because this is clearly where the end of the game is. There's a couple of other doors here. I guess I can check those. be done soon. I want to explore more of this area. Oh, there was a chest there. Here we go digging. Diggy diggy hole. And that leads to the Watchtower. There's only one other room that I can conceive that it would be. Unless I need to progress the game more first. And that's this room here. Which I think, is, which I think counts as part of the Haunted Mansion. Well, let's check up here first. Hey buddy, have you seen a pig door somewhere? I'm glad that you have pretended to give me the thing that you gave me previously. Much appreciated. <laughs> ridiculous amount. I have nearly a million. I bet if I could open this door that I could get somewhere from there. I'm like, I don't think that this is something that I would be able to get locked out of because I'm pretty sure that's where the million year old man is. Like, that building there. Yeah, I am not finding any other areas that I haven't been to. This is million-year-old chest. Which I'm willing to bet probably contains the million-year-old bell. Well... 
We have a couple of pig bags. We don't really have any leads as to exactly where uh, those doors are going to be. Well, we have as much as what the, the fortune teller told us at the very least. I do not have an unbreakable wire. That is where I, that is probably what I need to find next. But uh, wherever it may be, I'll have to wait for it next time. USB device not recognized. That's probably my controller that keeps disconnecting itself. Anyway, uh, thank y'all for watching. Uh, thank you to Zero, Grim, Jason, J-Pop, Tyrion, and Mazzy for hanging out in chat. Uh, the next potential stream is going to be tomorrow. I don't really have a specific time, but probably starting at around 9. Uh, and uh, if I do stream, which seems likely, I will probably just be doing some uh, Final Fantasy XIV stuff. Uh, mostly because J-Pop is not streaming, and also that gives me an additional opportunity to get people in chat and uh, contribute points to the community uh, challenge, which is currently standing at... Uh, 34,530 doodads, which is 69%. Nice. Uh, lots of 69s today. But anyway, uh, so yeah, tomorrow probably some uh, Final Fantasy XIV just hanging around. There's there's a lot of events, and I'm also leveling up Ninja right now, so... Uh, that's a chill stream. I may or may not have Mike on. We'll see. But the next scheduled stream is going to be on Sunday at 8 p.m. or later, Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Sunday Super Show. We're going to do some more Archipelago shenanigans and hopefully have a better result than this past weekend. Oh boy. Let's not talk about this past weekend. And that takes us round week round wheel to our next uh, 15th anniversary long run where um, at the pace that we're going, there's a pretty good chance that we're going to finish uh, Tomba. It may end up being a finish or bust stream, but really I do think that we can do it. Uh, we have 114 uh, events collected and 103 cleared out of 130, so it's definitely within reach. We just got to push forward here a little bit. Anyway, that'll do it for today. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.